Hi, I'm Craig from SolarX UK. Welcome to this new video tutorial in which we're going to showcase to you the brand new uh, SolarX portal monitoring system which we have introduced for our uh, hybrid inverters, the Generation 2 hybrid inverters, um, to replace the existing SolarMan system. Now, SolarMan is still in use on Generation 1 hybrid and also on X3 and X1 inverters and will continue to be uh, used going forward. However, for the battery storage system, particularly the EPS battery storage system, we've developed a new monitoring uh, system which gives the end user more information and more relevant information relating to their batteries and uh, discharge levels and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to be concerned with in this video. So we're going to do the setup uh, now. We're going to follow the process through from start to finish. It works in a very similar way to the, the SolarMan setup in that initially we set up connectivity from the inverter to the customer's router. And once that's in place, we then go online, uh, open a, a Solax portal account and uh, set up the, uh, the monitoring that way so that the customer can access the data online or through the app. Okay, so here we are um, at a standard uh, desktop. I'm using a, a Windows laptop here, but you can use any Wi-Fi enabled device. First thing we're going to do is connect directly to the, uh, the inverter. And you can see I've gone there to the list of available Wi-Fi networks, selected the one that is prefix, prefix SolarX and just uh, clicked on connect. This connection can take um, you know, anything up to 15-20 uh, seconds, so just be patient while this, this uh, connects. Okay, so that's connected. Next thing I'm going to do now is open up a web browser. Okay, the IP address here is the same. Uh, uh, it's always 11.11.11.1. .11 okay, and the username and password, they're both admin in lowercase. Okay, so I've logged in there. Uh, this is a screen that you get come up. Now, the thing you're interested in here is the SSID. Now, here it's uh, already got SolarX in there because we've set this up on this computer before. But when you log in for the first time, it will be blank. So if you click on the Find AP button, you're finding the local Wi-Fi network of, of the customer, uh, selecting that, and then putting in their Wi-Fi password. Uh, click on Save and Reboot, and that is it. You have actually uh, set up the connectivity between the uh, customer's inverter and their router. Okay, So you can close that down now. The next stage in the process is simply to go online and set up an account on the SolarX portal. So the first thing we need to do obviously is disconnect from the inverter itself and then reconnect to the local Wi-Fi network here. Um, or obviously it will be the customer's Wi-Fi network within their property. Okay, Once you've done that you're back onto the internet now. The web address we enter here is uh, the SolarX portal.com okay there you go and uh, the first thing you need to do is obviously sign up so here it's very simple you create a username okay we're just going to put in some general things here just to, just to whisk through this um, uh, and the password that you're going to remember obviously um, and once you've put in your email address the important thing here is the Wi-Fi serial number um, it's easy to get because all you do is simply go back down to the list of available Wi-Fi networks to find the network that you connected to when you set up the connectivity between the inverter and the router. Okay, so you look there, it's it's the one that's prefix SolarX and there's a number that follows the prefix and that is the number that you put in here. Okay, so in this case it's uh, 357EB145, actually it needs to be uppercase there, so we'll change that and we'll submit that now. Okay, so that's done. So once you've done that, you can then log into your account, which we're going to do here. Obviously, we've already got an account set up here, so I'm going to log into our account. Uh, and uh, you can see um, the uh, generic sort of landing page as you log in. When you log in for the, on, the on the first occasion, there are a few things you will need to set up once you're in there, but I can show you that now. So this is our inverter here at the office, um, which obviously um, has been running for a while now, so you can see lots of data coming through there. In the case of setting up a new account, um, the data will come through. There might be a delay of around 10 minutes from the, doing the setup before the data comes through. But the one thing you need to do is when you go in there is, is just click on My Sites and then Edit Site because here there's a bit of data that you're going to need to amend. You want to give the site a name. You need to specify the, the system size. You can put in the installation company name as well. Time zone is obviously GMT. Um, you need to then use seasonal because obviously it will change where the clocks go forward and back. It will alter the time. 
um, and the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can make it public if you want so other people can see it by using a direct link and the, the feeding tariff, um, that's, it should be 13.88 at this point but yeah, I mean, whatever the feeding tariff is at the point at which you set the inverter up. The one thing you'll have to do is set the location. Now it doesn't set the location based on postcode, you do have to actually drag the map marker uh, to the exact location. So uh, it's relatively straightforward. You can zoom in and out and, and drag the marker to the right location. Obviously I've cancelled that because we don't need to save any of those changes. But that's essentially it. Uh, once you've done that, the data should start coming through. You should just start to see the graphs and the historical data. We're not going to go into all of that now. Um, it's, that's for later, that's for another video really. Uh, have a play with that. But in very simple terms, that's how you set up the uh, connectivity.